Hey guys, this is Andrew Aversa with Impact Soundworks, and today I'm just going to show you a quick video of our new update to Acoustic Revolutions Volume 1. So we had promised last year that we were going to release a free update with Rex2 files for the library, and we're now done with that, and that's going to go out to every Acoustic Revolutions user. But what we're also doing in addition to that is releasing a Sage version of the whole library. Sage is the file format for Stylus RMX. So let's take a look at what that looks like in the plugin. If you go to user libraries, once you've imported our content, you'll see on the left side the different tempos, keys, and time signatures. And on the right side, you have the individual loops. You can do different tempos, you can uh, pitch it around. Let's hear an example of that. So we'll go down to one of these patterns here. This is at 140 BPM. Now let's increase it. Now we're at 170. You can take a loop at 130 and go up in tempo. Or you can go down. Now, of course, the original tempo is always going to sound the best, so you won't want to go, you know, up or down 100 BPM, for example. But it still sounds pretty good. You can go 20, 30, or even 40 if you're going up without any problems. Now, we also have the bonus loops folder, which is great for special effects. We can also mess around with the pitch. Like with tempo, it's not perfect, but between the list of tempos and pitches that we have, uh, and a little bit of tweaking in Stylus RMX's interface. The last thing I want to show you is how easy it is to use Stylus RMX's groove lock feature to lock your percussion to one of the loops from Acoustic Revolutions. So let's go to the uh, swing folder, for example. That's pretty swung, so in order to contrast that, let's take something from the backbeat expansion. Something very, very straight. Okay, now let's hear them together. So those hi-hats in the drum loop are a little off, and what we can do is go to the Time Designer feature, and this is in the latest version of Stylus RMX, so if you're still using one from a few years ago, you definitely want to update. Now if you go to Groove Lock, you can select Part 1. And now this percussion loop is locked to the groove of the guitar loop. And it's a very useful feature. You can, of course, tweak the strength of that. You can change the uh, meter. You can simplify it. Um, that's all built into RMX. but. This is a really useful feature if you have a loop that you like in Acoustic Revolutions and you don't want to try to quantize the loop because it'll sound, you know, maybe a little weird if you put too much space between the hits. So you instead want to quantize the drums. You just load whatever loop you want on one channel, go to the other one, Time Designer, Groove Lock it. It's as easy as that. So there you have it. That's Acoustic Revolutions for Stylus RMX. It's very easy to audition loops. Change the tempo, change the pitch, and also groove lock your percussion and build a groove around the stuff that you hear in Acoustic Revolution. So it's really, in my opinion, the ideal platform for the library. 
you're gonna get all this stuff for free in addition to the Rex2 loops. So if you have any other sample slicer that you wanna use, you can just use those. If you're a new customer, you can get Acoustic Revolutions for $25, and that comes with all this stuff, Wave, Rex2, and Sage. Anyway, have fun with Acoustic Revolutions and enjoy the update. Tell me that you'll stay here where everything's beautiful. 